Ohio because I'm in mass. Hold on. Let me. Whoops. There we go. Oh. Hello. Hello. Now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, for he was the firstborn, but for as much as he defiled his father's bed, his birthright was given unto the sons of Joseph, the son of Israel, and the genealogy is not to be reckoned after the birthright. For Judah, <laughs> excuse me. For Judah prevailed above his brethren, and of him came the chief ruler, but the birthright was Joseph's. The son the sons, I say, of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, were Hanak and Palu, Hezron and Carmi. The sons of Joel, Shemaiah, his son, Gog, his son, Shimei, his son, Micah, his son, Rea, his son, Baal, his son, Beera, his son, whom Tilgath-Pilneser, king of Assyria, carried away captive. He was prince of the Reubenites. And his brethren by their families, when the genealogy of their generations was reckoned, were the chief Jael and Zechariah, and Bala the son of Azaz, the son of Shema, the son of Joel, who dwelt in Ararar, even unto Nebo and Baal Meon. And eastward he inhabited to, inhabited unto the entering in of the wilderness from the river Euphrates, because their cattle were multiplied multiplied in the land of Gilead. And in the days of Saul, they made war with the Hagarites, who fell by their hand, and they dwelt in their tents throughout all the east land of Gilead. And the children of Gad dwelt over against them in the land. Can you get out of my face, please? <laughs> and the notification that came up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And the children of Gad... Well, I don't know where we're at now. And in the days of Saul, they made war with the Hagarites, who fell by their hand, and they dwelt in their tents throughout all the east land of Gilead. And the children of Gad dwelt over against them in the land of Bashan unto South Chah. Joel the chief, and Shapham the next, and Janai, and Shaphat in Bashan, and their brethren of the house of their fathers were Michael and Meshulam, and Sheba, and Jorai, and Jachan, and Zia, and Heber, and, oh, and Heber, seven. These are the children of Abihel, the son of Huri, the son of Jarah, Jara, the son of Gilead, the son of Michael, the son of Jeshihai, Jeshishai, Jeshish, Jeshishai, Jeshishai, the son of Jado, the son of Booz. Ahi, the son of Abdiel, the son of Guni, chief of the house of their fathers, and they dwelt in Gilead and Bashan, and in her towns, and in all the suburbs of Sharon, upon their borders. All these were reckoned by genealogies in the days of Jotham, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, king of Israel. The sons of Reuben and the Gedites, and the and half tribe, Lord have mercy. The sons of Reuben and the Gadites, and half the tribe of Manasseh, of valiant men, men able to wear buckler and sword, and to shoot with bow and skillful in war, were four and forty thousand seven hundred and three score that went out to the war. And they made war with the Hagarites, with Jeter, and Nephish, Nephish and Nodab, and they were helped against them, and the Hagarites were delivered into their hand, and all that were with them. For they cried to God in the battle, and he was entreated of them, because they put their trust in him. And they took away their cattle, of their camels, fifty thousand, and of sheep, two hundred and fifty thousand, and of asses, two thousand, and of men, an hundred thousand. For there fell down many slain, because the war was of God, and they dwelt in their steads until the captivity. And the children of the half-tribe of Manasseh, dwelt in the land. They, de they increased from Bashan unto Baal Hermon and Sinner, and unto Mount Hermon. And these were the heads of the house of their fathers, even Ephra, and Ishi, and Eliel, and Azrael, and Jeremiah, and Hadabiah, and Jadiel, mighty men of valor, famous men, and heads of the house of their fathers.
and they transgressed against the God of their fathers and went a-whoring after the gods of the people of the land whom God destroyed before them. And the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Pul, king of Assyria, and the spirit of Tilgath Pilneser, king of Assyria, and he carried them away, even the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half tribe of Manasseh, and brought them unto Hala and Haber and Hara, and to the river Gozan unto this day. Praise the Lord. Doing all that. The sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari, and the sons of Kohath, Amram, Izhar, Izhar, and Hebron, and Uziel, and the children of Amram, Aaron, and Moses, and Miriam, the sons also of Aaron, Nadab, and Abid, Abihu, Abihu? How do we normally say that? Abihu. But I don't feel like that's right. That's what we're going to say today, though. Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Eleazar begat Phineas, Phineas begat Abishua, and Abishua begat Buki, and Buki begat Uzi, and Uzi begat Zerahiah, and Zerahiah begat Marioth. Marioth, okay, we'll just stick with that. Marioth begat Amaria, and Amaria begat Ahitub, and Ahitub begat Zadok, and Zadok begat Ahimaz, and Ahimaz begat Azaria, and Azaria begat Johanan. And Johanan begat Azariah, he it is that executed the priest's office in the temple that Solomon built in Jerusalem. And Azariah begat Amariah, and Amariah begat Ahitub, and Ahitub begat Zadok, and Zadok begat Shalom. And Shalom begat Hilkiah, and Hilkiah begat Azariah, and Azariah begat Sariah, and Sariah begat Jehozadak. And Jehozadak went into captivity when the Lord carried away Judah and Jerusalem by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the sons of Levi, Gershom, Kohath, and Merari. And these be the names of the sons of Gershom, Libni, and Shimei. And the sons of Kohath were Amram, and Izhar, and Hebron, and Uziel. The sons of Merari, Mali, and Mushi, and these are the families of the Levites according to their fathers. Of Gershom, Libni, his son, Jahath, his son, Zema, his son, Joah, his son, Edo, his son, Zerah, his son, Jeturai, his son, the sons of Kohath, Aminadab, his son, Korah, his son, Aser, his son, Elkanah, his son, and Ebiasaph, his son, and Aser, his son, Tahath, his son, Uriel, his son, Uzziah, Uzziah his son, and Shaul his son, and the sons of Elkanah, Amasai, Amasai, and Ahimoth. As for Elkanah, the sons of Elkanah, Zoph, Zophai, or Zophai, or Zophai, his son, and Nahaf his son, Eliab his son, Jerahim his son, Elkanah his son, and the sons of Samuel, the firstborn, Vashni and Abia. The sons of Merari, Mali, Libni, his son, Shime, his son, Uzzah, his son, Shimea, his son, Haggia, his son, Asia, his son. And these are they whom David set over the service of song in the house of the Lord after that the ark had rest. And they ministered before the dwelling place of the tabernacle of the congregation with singing until Solomon had built the house of the Lord in Jerusalem, and then they waited on their office according to their order and these they and these are they that waited with their children of the sons of the Kohathites Hamon a singer the son of Joel the son of Shemuel the son of Elkanah the son of Jerohim the son of Elio the son of Toa the son of Zuth the son of Elkanah the son of Mahath Mahath the son of Amasai the son of Elkanah, the son of Joel, the son of Azariah, the son of Zephaniah, or Zephaniah, the son of Tehath, this is just slaughtered, the son of Tehath, something totally came out of my brain, different than what I was thinking. That sentence came out the backwards way too, can you be quiet? Over here, pointing at my flaws. 
let them point out themselves. The son of Asir, the son of Ebiasaph, the son of Korah, the son of Izhar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, and his brother Asaph, who stood on his right hand, even Asaph, the son of Berechiah, the son of Shimea, the son of no Mikil, the son of Michael, the son of Basia, the son of Malchiah, the son of Ethni, the son of Zerah, the son of Adia, the son of Ethan, the son of Zima, the son of Shimei, the son of Jahath, the son of Gershon, the son of Levi. And their brethren, the sons of Merari, stood on the left hand, Ethan, the son of Kishi, the son of Abdi, the son of Maluk, the son of Hashabiah, or Hashabiah, my brain said that, but my mouth did not. The son of Amaziah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Amzi, the son of Bani, the son of Shamer, the son of Mali, the son of Mushi, the son of Merari, the son of Levi. Their brethren also, the Levites, were appointed unto all manner of service of the tabernacle of the house of God. I was going to say the Lord. What in the world? It's because I'm trying to hurry up. I want to eat. <laughs> but Aaron and his sons offered upon the altar of the burnt offering and on the altar of incense and were appointed for all the work of the place most holy and to make an atonement for Israel according to all that Moses the servant of God had commanded. But God wants us to have a personality, so he's like, all right, let's do this. And these are the sons of Aaron, Eleazar his son, Phinehas his son, Abishua his son, Buki his son, Uzi his son, Zerahiah his son, and my mind it was like Uzi his son. I don't even really know what a Uzi is. I don't play Call of Duty, but I do know what it is because I'm not stupid. But you know what? Some people may not know what it is and they're not stupid. So I don't, because I live under a rock. There's a lot of things we don't know. So I take that back. But like I said, I know what it is. Maria, his son, Amaria, his son, Ahitub, his son, Zadok, his son, Ahimaaz, his son. Now these are their dwelling places throughout their castles and their coasts of the sons of Aaron, of the families of the Kohathites, for theirs was the lot. Between a sword and a gun, I would pick a sword. Before, uh, between a sword and a bow, I would pick a bow. And also, between a regular like bow staff and a bow and arrows, I'd probably have both if I could. Just sharing it. And they gave... And now these... No. Now these are the dwelling places throughout their castles and their coasts of the sons of Aaron, of the families of the Kohathites, for theirs was the lot. And they gave them Hebron in the land of Judah and the suburbs thereof round about it. But the fields of the city and the villages thereof they gave to Caleb the son of Jephunneh. Excuse me. And to the sons of Aaron, they gave the cities of Judah, namely Hebron, the city of refuge in Libna, with her suburbs, and Jatir and Eshtemoah with their suburbs. And it went away. And Helan, and Helan with her suburbs, Deborah with her suburbs, and Ashen with her suburbs, and Beth Shemesh with her suburbs. And out of the tribe of Benjamin, Geba with her suburbs, and Alameth with her sub suburbs, and Anathoth with her suburbs. All their cities throughout their families were 13 cities. And unto the sons of Kohath, which were left of the family of that tribe, were cities given out of the half-tribe, namely out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, by lot, 10 cities. And to the sons of Gershom, through their, throughout their families, out of the tribe of Issachar, and out of the tribe of Asher, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, and out of the tribe of Manasseh and Bashan, 13 cities. Unto... The sons of Merari were given by lot throughout their families out of the tribe of Reuben and out of the tribe of Gad and out of the tribe of Zebulun, 12 cities. And the children of Israel gave to the Levites these cities with their suburbs. And they gave by lot out of the tribe of the children of Judah and out of the tribe of the children of Simeon and out of the tribe of the children of Benjamin, these cities which are called by their names. And the residue of the families of the sons of Kohath had cities of their coasts out of the tribe of Ephraim, and they gave unto them of the cities of refuge, Sheshem and Mount Ephraim with her suburbs. 
They gave also Gezer with her suburbs, and Jachnim with her suburbs, and Beth Haran with her suburbs, and Aijalon with her suburbs, and Gathrimon with her suburbs. And out of the half tribe of Manasseh, Anner with her suburbs, and Belam with her suburbs, for the family of the remnant of the sons of Kohath. Unto the sons of Gershom were given out of the family of the half tribe of Manasseh. Golan and Bashan with her suburbs, and Ashtaroth with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Issachar, Kadesh with her suburbs, Dabareth with her suburbs, and Ramoth with her suburbs, and Anam with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Asher, Mashal with her suburbs, and Abdon with her suburbs, and Hukok with her suburbs, and Rahab with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh and Galilee with Galilee with her suburbs, and Hamon with her suburbs, and Kirjathame with her suburbs. Unto the rest of the children of Merari were given out of the tribe of Zebulun, Rimon with her suburbs, Tabor with her suburbs, and on the other side Jordan by Jericho on the east side of Jordan were given them out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer in the wilderness with her suburbs, and Jahadut. Jaza with her suburbs, Kedema also with her suburbs, and Methath with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Gad, let's do that one again, Kedemoth also with her suburbs, and Methath with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead with her suburbs, and Mahanaim with her suburbs, and Heshbon with her suburbs, and Jazer with her suburbs. Praise the Lord, I'm glad he gave me the power of speech today. I played that, it's not that bad at all. It really is fun for a good hour. And then after that. Now the sons of Issachar were Tola and Pua, Jashub and Shimron, four. And the sons of Tola, Uzi and Rephiah, yeah. And Jeriel and Jamai and Jibsam and Shemuel, heads of their father's house to wit of Tola, they were valiant men of might in their generations, whose number was in the days of David two and twenty thousand and six hundred. And the sons of Uzi, Israhiah, and the sons of Israhiah, Michael and Obadiah, and, and Joel, Ishia, five, all of them chief men. And with them, by their generations, after the house of their fathers were bands of soldiers for war six and thirty thousand men, for they had many wives and sons. And their brethren among all the families of Issachar were valiant men of might, reckoned in all by their genealogies fourscore and seven thousand. The sons of Benjamin, Bela and Betcher, and Jediel, three. And the sons of Bela, Esbon, and Uzi, and Uziel, and Jeremoth, and Eri, five heads of the house of their fathers, mighty men of valor, and were reckoned by their genealogies, twenty and two thousand and tw twenty and two thousand and thirty and four. Yeah. And the sons of Betcher, Zemira, and Joash, and Eliezer, and Elionai, and Omri, and Jeremoth, and Abia and Anathoth and Alameth, all these are the sons of Besher. Be Besher. It could be Besher. I'm gonna say Besher until we find another Besher. You know how it be. It's the Bible. And the number of them after their genealogy by their generations, heads of the house of their fathers, mighty men of valor, was twenty thousand and two hundred. The sons also of JDL, Bilhan, and the sons of Bilhan, Jush, and Benjamin, and Ehud, and Shana, and, well, Shanana, Shanana, yeah, Shanana, and Zephan, and Tharshish, I knew there was a Tharshish, we said that, we couldn't remember, and Ahishashar, Ahishahar, close enough. All these are the sons of Jediel by the heads of their fathers. Mighty men of valor were 17,200 soldiers fit to go out for war and battle. Shupim also and Hupim were children of Er, and Hushim, the sons of Ahir, the sons of Naphtali, Jaziel and Guni, and Jezer and Shalom, the sons of Bilhah, the sons of Manasseh, as 
Ashriel, whom she bare, but his concubine, the Amre Am Aramites, bare Mashur, the father of Gilead. And Mashur took to wife the sister of Hupam and Shupam, whose sister's name was Macha. And the name of the second was Zelophead, and Zelophead had daughters. And Macha, the wife of Mashir, bare a son, and she called his name Perish. And the name of his brother was Sherish, and his sons were Ulam and Rekum. And the sons of Ulam, Bedan, these were the sons of Gilead, the son of Mashir, the son of Manasseh. And his sister Hamalekith bare Ishad and Abiezer and Mahala. The sons and the sons of Shimada were Ahian and Shisham and Liki, 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 Liki. Ah, and uh, Anium. Okay. And the sons of Ephraim, Shuthala, and Bered his son, and Tehath his son, and Eladah his son, and Tehath his son, and Zabad his son, and Shuthala his son, and Ezer and Eliad, whom the men of Gath that were born in that land slew, because they came down to take away their cattle. And Ephraim, their father, mourned many days, and his brethren came to comfort him. And when he went into his wife, she conceived and bare a son, and he called his name Bariah, because it went evil with his house. And his daughter was Sherah, who built Beth Haran, the nether and the upper, and Uzin Sherah. And Repha was his son, also Resheth, and Tela his son, and Tehan his son, well, Tehan. Tahan. Laden his son, Laedan his son, Amihud his son, Elishama his son, Nan his son, Jehoshua his son, and his possessions and habitations were Bethel and the towns thereof, and eastward Neron and westward Gezer with the towns thereof. Shishim also and the towns thereof unto Geza and the towns thereof, and by the borders of the children of Manasseh, Beth Shean and her towns Tanak, and her towns Megiddo, and her towns Dor, and her towns in these dwelt the children of Joseph, the son of Israel. Joseph. The sons of Asher, Emna, and Ishua, and Ishuai, and Beria, and Sarah, their sister, and the sons of Berea, or Bariah, Heber, and Malkio, who is the father of Beersabeth, and Heber begat. Japhlet and Shomar and Hotham and Shua their sister and the sons of Japhlet Pesach and Bimhal and Ashbath these are the children of Japhlet and the sons of Shamer Ahi and Raga Raga Jehuba and Aram and the sons of his brother Helam Zapha and Emna and Shelesh and Amal the sons of Zapha Sua and Harnifer and Shual and Beri and Emra, Bezer and Hod and Shama, and Shilsha and Ethran and Bera, and the sons of Jether, Jephana, and the sons of Jether, Jephane, and Hispa and Ara, and the sons of Ula, Ara, and Haniel and Rezia. All these were the children of Asher, heads of their father's house, choice and mighty men of valor, chief of the princes and the number throughout the genealogy of them that were apt to the war and to battle was 20 and 6,000 men. Let's do a prayer for, I ain't got a time for you. Get out of here. Good, because we're about to pray for it. <laughs> this is a prayer for those of you that feel triggered by everything to the point where you feel like you need to take that out on someone else. Today we experienced someone um, that we're not going to go into the story um, at all unless it needs to be told in the future. If it come out, it come out. But this person really uh, was very rude, and rude is an understatement, rude to someone who was handicapped and um, in a place where you just shouldn't be like that in general but like they were already talked spoken to about the situation 
said okay, and then the person came in that was handicapped, and this person decided to be a nuisance to everybody in the, in the, in the place that we were at. Um, and uh, we snitched on her. We don't use the word snitch, but like we do. And you know, most of the time I mind my own business, but I, it, it was either I say something myself personally, but it would not have worked out well. It would not have made anything better. And so um, we secretly snitched. So if you're wondering if I did it, I did it. And I ain't got no shame in it, because I would tell you if you asked too, because I really was gonna say something. Because I was leaving her alone at first, but um, yeah. And then she decided to slur at me as well, but she didn't, um, she didn't say it to my face. Literally the, the tone from Meg Thee Stallion, but a bitch knew better than to let me hear it. But the thing is with that is that I did hear it, but she was saying it, testing me to try to get me, but she didn't. And she only chose to take that approach with me, but the other people in the area, she decided to be openly rude to them for no reason whatsoever. And um, she could sense that our energy was, was, was too much for her. So she decided to act right for the most part. She was still, so it's, she was still doing her thing. So this is really a prayer for those people that really feel like they need to compete with someone, one, and also feeling so much energy within you that you feel that you are not worthy to the point where you try to take other people's worth away from them because they also were speaking about that as well, saying that other people weren't gonna be worth it. You, you're homeless, like really, she was really doing too much. And you know, as much as people like to try and talk bad about these types of people, a lot of you guys are those types of people and you may not even admit it. And you know, it's one thing to do something, but it's another to not change because you feel like you're really doing better than you think you are. But one, we're praying for you. We're not here to judge you. We're here to pray for you. And there are, you know, like I said, I'm human. You know, I got stuff to say. How the double light gonna turn on? You ain't got no business acting up right now. Um, but yeah, those people live in the dark and I'm here to tell you that you can come out of it. But it does start with acknowledging that you are that type of person. Cause if someone said this to your face, you'd probably want to fight them. And that's not, that's not what happens. And I didn't snitch in order for for um, a situation to be looked good in and stuff. I snitched because if I didn't say something, I would have looked like a bad guy to myself. And I really would have felt like it too. And I was triggered because how dare you speak to someone like that, especially when you are so in the wrong. And um, that's just something that I just wanted God to handle the situation. And I knew that I played a part in it. Cause like I said, we mind our business. So that is a prayer. It is a talking to, because there are people that are, this, this, me, Jesus, I am for everyone. I am for the sick and actually a lot of us are sick. So, you know, I'm healing myself. And even though I'm the most healed, I'm, you know, I get healed by the Lord and we heal ourselves as well. Like we are a team and it is, it comes from acknowledging where we could be worse if we want it to be. Um, we will definitely talk more about that later on because I feel like that definitely needs to be spoken about. We're everybody. We are literally everybody's good and bad, bad sides. And we embrace that. We love every part of ourselves. However, it is because we understand what we do to be our best. And it is not what a lot of people like to say about themselves because they know better. So I wanted to point that out. I wanted to speak on that. Everybody comes here. It doesn't matter if you're the first one here. Everybody comes here and everybody will hear this. Everybody will be known about where they're at in life because that's who we are. Everyone is welcome. So yeah, I'm about to eat now. We really ain't got no time. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Take care of yourself. Take care of us. How do I get out this thing? Oh yeah, I assume it is.